you can tell, we're uh, kicking back and uh, doing a little cooking. Uh, make some videos about the pit. You can go look for them if you're curious. But today, we're going to talk about something else. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Uh, these right here, they actually go on the end of your test leads. And uh, as you can tell, you've got a spike and then you have what they call a bed of nails. Uh, I know these are kind of a little bit older. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, oh my God, that's how you destroy wires. Well, sometimes you have to get a definite answer. And it takes these, you know. I mean, you have a bed of nail, you have a spike in the bed of nails. And you can actually put it on there and you can put the pliers and you can squeeze them and get a good grab. And then, of course, you got this right here, right? I have a video where I was doing some testing. And um, sometimes when you use these, that section of the wire is not going to be good or you have to really doctor that up. But you, you'll find yourself in situations where you need a definite answer of what's going on. Is it the wire? Is it the cramp? Is it the device? Is it the component? Is it the ECM? And, uh, and it, this might be a little barbaric to some of you guys. Yes fluke makes piercing tools and whatever automotive guys i don't really think you guys could uh really justify using something like this but heavy equipment guys especially uh, guys that work on bulldozers uh, wheel loaders and the notorious bobcat uh down here they call them bobcats but they're really talking about skid steers but down here you know bobcat dominates that market so thoroughly that everybody calls them bobcats regardless if it's a john deere or cat or case or jcb so those harnesses they get buried at the belly of the unit and they're exposed to a lot of corrosion and chafing and rubbing so you know this is where these this this particular tool will just shine because it will give you a definite answer uh if you're trying to get some like uh current flow resistance voltage drop this is an ideal tool and the only reason i'm showing it is because i was using it the other night and one of the guys saw me using it and he said i've never seen that so maybe you guys have maybe you guys haven't and it made me want to make a video about these uh, test alligator clips uh, i know fluke makes the the other ones you know that you, you you twist and they pierce they have the little skinny thing but like I said, this is something different, you know. It's not for everybody. Uh, you got the belt. Let's see if we can get it to focus. You have the bed of nails. You have the single spike. And, uh, you know, just a little bit different tool to throw in your arsenal for daily diagnostics. Uh, subscribe, like. Um, hey, let me know if you've seen these before. Have you used them? Uh, you know, and, and, and regardless of what kind of tool you use, you can uh, you can damage components even if you use a better tool. It's all in, in the finesse of the user. So, uh, like I said, you know, some, sometimes, especially heavy equipment guys, <laughs> you got to have something like this. Um, anyway, like, subscribe. And uh, I've noticed I got 16 subscribers. Uh, Thank you everyone for watching and uh, I'll do my best to keep them coming. Thanks.